Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was working on his afternoon painting when suddenly the garage bell rang. When the garage bell rings, it means Mr. Monkey has a visitor in his garage. Mr. Monkey loves visitors. Let's go see who it could be. Why, it's Mr. Chameleon. Mr. Monkey is always happy to see his friend Mr. Chameleon. Hello, Mr. Monkey. I just found my favorite red jacket. Funny thing, now I'm red. I was wondering, do you think you could paint my car red to match? That's one of the many fun things about Mr. Chameleon. Sometimes he turns the color of whatever he touches. And today, he's apparently turned red. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, I better be on my way in my bright red car. Another satisfied customer. Now that Mr. Monkey's job is all done, he can get back to working on his painting. The garage bell. Another visitor. It's Mr. Chameleon again. Only this time he's... orange? Mr. Monkey, would you believe it? I just found this bright orange hat. Only now, I'm orange. Could you paint my car orange so it matches? Sure, why not? Mr. Monkey can paint the car orange. Oh, that's just great, Mr. Monkey. Thank you so much. Now that Mr. Monkey's job is finished, it's time for him to get back to his painting. Whew. Hey, Mr. Monkey. I've got this pair of yellow boots. Yellow boots, Mr. Monkey. You do not find these every day. I don't suppose you could repaint my car yellow to match. A green shirt, Mr. Monkey. My favorite blue jeans. Look at my fancy purple tie. I've got my nice red jacket on again, Mr. Monkey. But, uh, I was wondering, could you paint my car red again? Poor Mr. Monkey. He can't keep painting Mr. Chameleon's car forever. What can he do? He heads to his workbench to try and come up with a solution. Mr. Monkey needs to fix this problem, but what color can he paint a car when he needs every color? First, Mr. Chameleon needed his car to be painted red to match his red jacket. Then he needed his car painted orange to match his orange hat. Then he needed his car painted yellow to match his yellow boots. Then he needed his car painted green to match his green shirt. Then he needed his car painted blue to match his favorite blue jeans. And finally, he needed his car painted purple to match his purple tie. There must be some way to make Mr. Chameleon's car match with all the colors of Mr. Chameleon's clothing and Mr. Chameleon. Mr. Monkey's got an idea, but before he can get started, he's going to need his trusty monkey wrench. Whoops. I mean his <clears throat> trusty paintbrush. Mr. Monkey has done it. Mr. Monkey made Mr. Chameleon's car a rainbow. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I am so happy. Not only is my car red, orange, and yellow, but it's also green, blue, and purple. It will match everything I own. Thank you so much, Mr. Monkey. You've made my car absolutely perfect. Now that Mr. Monkey's job is done, he can get back to finishing his painting. Magnifique, Monsieur Monkey. See you next time.
Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was relaxing in his hammock when all of a sudden, the garage bell rang. Oh boy, a visitor. Who could it be? Look, it's Mr. Giraffe. Hello, Mr. Giraffe. How can I help you today? There's something wrong with my car, Mr. Monkey. Ever since I started driving it, my neck has been really sore. I think this car is broken. Mr. Monkey checks the car. He checks the engine, the tires, and the shocks. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything wrong. In fact, this car is in tip-top shape. But there must be something wrong with it, Mr. Monkey. My neck is so achy. Mr. Monkey tries to get a closer look at Mr. Giraffe's neck. But Mr. Giraffe is very tall, and Mr. Monkey is much shorter. Let's see. Mr. Giraffe is very tall, but his car is not so tall. Mr. Monkey has an idea. He needs to find a way for the very tall Mr. Giraffe to fit in his not-so-tall car. First, he will need some supplies. He'll need one, two, three, four pieces of wood. And they are all the same size and length. He's going to make a square. A square has four equal sides. Like this. There. Now he just needs some bolts to attach the square to the car. Eight bolts should do the trick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Mr. Monkey is just about ready to head back to the car, but he's going to need one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench. What is Mr. Monkey up to? Mr. Monkey is almost finished. He just needs to fasten the square down with the bolts. How many bolts did Mr. Monkey have? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Mr. Monkey is all done, and he's very proud of his handiwork. He invites Mr. Giraffe to test it out. Amazing! Mr. Monkey, you've solved my problem. He made him a sunroof. Or rather, a giraffe roof. Mr. Giraffe's neck was hurting because he was too tall to fit inside his not-so-tall car. But now that Mr. Giraffe has his giraffe roof, he can sit comfortably without any more neck aches. Goodbye, Mr. Giraffe. Don't forget your sunscreen. And with that, Mr. Monkey swings back to his hammock to finish reading his magazine and eating his banana. <laughs> Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was hanging out in his hammock. He had been working awfully hard lately and was looking forward to finally relaxing and catching up on his banana eating. When suddenly, the garage bell rang. That means Mr. Monkey has a visitor. I wonder who it could be. Why, 
Why, it's Mr. Sloth. Hello, Mr. Sloth. What can I do for you today? Mr. Monkey. My car is too fast. I need it to go slower. Sure, Mr. Sloth. I can see if I could make your car go slower. Mr. Monkey was about to go get a better look at Mr. Sloth's car, when suddenly... <laughs> Why, it's Ms. Rabbit! Mr. Monkey, you gotta help me! This car is just too slow! I got places to go! Places to see! I gotta go, go, go! And this car just goes! Can you help me? Hello, Ms. Rabbit. I think I can help make your car go faster. First, let's get a better look at both your cars. First, Mr. Monkey checks the engines. They seem to be running in tip-top shape. Then he checks the steering wheels. They both seem to steer. Finally, Mr. Monkey checks the tires. Yep, they're both just the right amount of tiredness. Not too soft, not too tough. Well, now this is a puzzle. Both cars seem to be just fine. Mr. Monkey has an idea. Off to his workbench. Mr. Sloth's car is too fast. Ms. Rabbit's car is too slow. Only there was one fix that would fix both problems. One fix to fix them all. Mr. Monkey has a solution. But first he's going to need some supplies. Mr. Monkey gets a nice big piece of red fabric. Then he gets a nice long metal tube. Then he grabs some metal hooks and of course some metal bolts. Mr. Monkey is all set. He just needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey gets to work. Mr. Monkey is all done. A big red curtain? Mr. Monkey, it's a big, big, big red curtain, says Ms. Rabbit. That's right! Mr. Sloth's car was too fast for him. And your car, Ms. Rabbit, was too slow. So, the one perfect solution to solve both your problems is... You should be driving each other's car! Mr. Monkey, it's perfect! Wonderful! Thank you so much, Mr. Monkey. Super great job. Another satisfied customer. And with that, Mr. Monkey gets back to what he was doing before. Ah, just the banana eating break Mr. Monkey needed. This is going to take a while. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was sound asleep in his hammock, dreaming about bananas. When suddenly, the garage bell rang. When the garage bell rings, it means there's a visitor. And Mr. Monkey loves visitors, almost as much as dreaming about bananas. Mr. Lion has come for a visit. Mr. Monkey, I have a problem. 
There's something wrong with my Jeep. It just doesn't sound right. Mr. Monkey takes a good look at Mr. Lion's Jeep. First, he checks the engine. But it sounds like an engine should sound. It's not too quiet. Next, he checks the doors. But they seem to be making the normal sort of noise that doors make. They aren't too quiet. Even the windshield wipers make the right amount of noise. They're not too quiet either. This sounds like a normal Jeep to me. Ah, my goodness, Mr. Monkey. No, no, no. It's the horn, Mr. Monkey. The horn. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. Uh, it just won't do. Mr. Monkey gets an idea. He goes to his special box of noisemakers. There must be something in this box that will work. Mr. Monkey tries the first noisemaker. No, no, no. It's just too clowny. Mr. Monkey tries the second noisemaker. No, 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 no. That one's just too bicycly. Mr. Monkey tries the last noisemaker. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Monkey, but that just isn't right either. It should sound something like this. Mr. Monkey gets an idea. An absolutely perfect idea. Off to his workbench. Mr. Lion came in because his Jeep wasn't sounding quite right. So first, Mr. Monkey tried the clown horn. But that was too clowny. Then Mr. Monkey tried the bicycle bell. But that was too bicycly. Next, he tried the giant horn. But that wasn't right for Mr. Lion either. Mr. Monkey has a plan. All he needs are some materials. One large sheet of metal, a piece of pipe and a square piece of wood, and six bolts. And of course, Mr. Monkey needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey gets to work. And now it's time to attach the bolts. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Mr. Monkey's work is complete. What is it, Mr. Monkey? Try it out. Give a roar, Mr. Lion. Mr. Monkey, this is absolutely perfect. Now my Jeep sounds just right. Another satisfied customer. And with that, it's time for Mr. Monkey to get back to his nap. That's better. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was working on his puzzle. When all of a sudden, the garage bell rang. Mr. Monkey has a visitor. He loves having visitors. Who could it be? It's Ms. Poodle. Hello, Ms. Poodle. Oh, Mr. Monkey. I've got a problem and I'm hoping you can help me. Every time I go to get my hair done, it gets ruined as soon as I drive away. I can't keep any of my fancy hairdos. My car just ruins them. 
Mr. Monkey thinks this is rather odd. Why would a car want to ruin a hairdo? Mr. Monkey takes a look at Ms. Poodle, then takes a look at Ms. Poodle's car. He checks the tires. He checks the engine. He even checks the windshield. Mr. Monkey has an idea. Miss Poodle, I think I may have a solution. Well, Mr. Monkey, I have a hair appointment. The car must be fixed by the time I come back, or else my hair will be ruined again. I'll be back by four o'clock. Mr. Monkey takes a look at the clock on the wall of his shop. The big hand is at the 12, and the little hand is at the two. That means it's two o'clock. So in two more hours, it will be four o'clock. That gives Mr. Monkey two hours before Miss Poodle comes back. He better get to work. Let's head over to Mr. Monkey's workbench. Miss Poodle's car is a convertible. That means it has no roof. When cars have a roof, it covers what's inside it and protects it from things like rain and wind. But Ms. Poodle's car doesn't have a roof. So when it's windy, her hair gets messy from the wind. What Ms. Poodle needs is a roof on her car. And Mr. Monkey knows exactly what kind of roof to make her. He thinks this nice round dome will work. Then he's going to need some bolts to attach the roof to the car. Four bolts should do the trick. One, two, three, and four. Now Mr. Monkey just needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! Mr. Monkey is almost finished. All he needs to do now is add the bolts. One bolt. And two bolts. Oh, Ms. Poodle's gonna be back soon. Let's finish the job. That makes three, and finally four. And not a minute too soon. Here comes Ms. Poodle. Oh my goodness, Mr. Monkey. What have you done to my convertible? Mr. Monkey wants to give it the ultimate test. Let's see how the dome works with some wind. It works. The roof is the perfect hairdo dome. Goodbye, Miss Poodle. Another satisfied customer. And with that, Mr. Monkey needs to get back to his puzzle. Mr. Monkey, Monkey Mechanic, was organizing his bananas. When suddenly, the garage bell rang. Oh, a visitor. Mr. Monkey loves having visitors, almost as much as he loves organizing bananas. Who could it be? It's Miss Squirrel. Hello, Miss Squirrel. What can I do for you today? Mr. Monkey, I'm so glad you're here. I have a big problem. Big, big, big. It's driving me nutty. Wow, what is it, Ms. Squirrel? There's something wrong with my car. It stopped working. I had to push it all the way here. Oh, no. 
Let me take a look at it right away. Mr. Monkey checks the car. He checks the engine. He checks the windshield wipers. He even checks the air conditioner. So, what's wrong with my car, Mr. Monkey? In a nutshell, you've got nuts. A lot of them. They're all over your car, clogging things up. That's why it stopped working. Well, that explains it. I have been squirreling away my nuts for the winter. See? I've got acorns, pine nuts, walnuts, and almonds. Sometimes, I lose track of how many of each that I have. Because I lose track, when I go to the store, I, I can't remember how many I have of each kind, so I just buy more of all of them. Oh, oh, what can I do, Mr. Monkey? Mr. Monkey studies Ms. Squirrel's nutty mess of a car. Mr. Monkey has an idea. He swings off to his workbench. Let's see. Ms. Squirrel's car won't start because there are nuts in every nook and cranny. She can't keep track of all the nuts she has, so she just keeps getting more. What Ms. Squirrel needs is help organizing her nuts. Mr. Monkey knows exactly how to help. First, he'll need some materials. He needs four jars, one big sheet of wood, and a bunch of nuts and bolts. <laughs> no, not those kinds of nuts. There we go. Now Mr. Monkey just needs one more thing. His trusty monkey wrench! I know how to fix your problem, Miss Squirrel. Miss Squirrel? Sorry, sorry, Mr. Monkey. I just popped out to the store to get another bag of nuts. It looked like I was low on acorns. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't even know I had a trunk. <laughs> Mr. Monkey gets to work. He puts the big piece of wood in the trunk. Then he cuts four holes into the wood. One, two, three, four. Next, he labels the holes with a drawing of each kind of nut. Then he adds the jars. And finally, he secures it all with the nuts and bolts. Mr. Monkey's work is done. Oh, what is it, Mr. Monkey? Storage for all your nuts. Acorns go there, pine nuts in there, walnuts down there, and almonds there. Every nut has its place. Test it out. Acorns, pine nuts, walnuts, almonds. 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 Amazing! Now I can see them, and I'll never buy more than I need. Mr. Monkey. You've solved my problem. Another satisfied customer. And with that, it's time for Mr. Monkey to get back to sorting his bananas.